What's good, everybody? I know it's been a minute. I've been out of town recording this mixtape, doing a whole lot of stuff. This is my first video back, and we're going to talk about a little bit of gaming. And this particular subject, me and my bros, my colleagues, we chat about a lot. With E3 going on, it seems like everybody's talking about the expansion of the Battle Royale gaming genre. It's the new phenomena. You know, that kind of started with the armor mods and then H1Z1 being probably the first big competitor competitive battle royale game and then the player unknowns battleground and of course the most popular game it seems these days is fortnite which is indeed a battle royale game for those that don't know what battle royale games are just imagine a setup where you have a bunch of players dropping into this world and they have nothing to their name they're pretty much naked in terms of weaponry armory and things like that so the objective is to go around looting for the weaponry looting for uh, armor and there's usually some sort of like gas or some sort of mechanism that surrounds this land in which it gets smaller and smaller and smaller thus forcing the action so you're running around trying to get loot trying to get guns and everybody else is doing the same thing and you're fighting them obviously and the last man standing wins the game this has been done with solos duos uh, squads with teams of like five and things like that so now we're seeing other games dip into the battle royale experience most noticeably both battlefield and call of duty have announced that their next games will have a battle royale mode oddly enough i've seen a lot of people complaining bitching and, and moaning about the battle royale sort of expanding which is very weird to me because the main criticism that i hear from people at least in my own personal experience it really makes no sense because people are saying that it's becoming oversaturated with battle royale games and it's getting old and stuff like that yet nobody says this about the three game modes that seemingly on every single shooter be it team deathmatch free for all or some capture the flag mode of some sort though i don't play exclusively battle royale games and i'm not the most amped up about it i personally welcome the expansion of this sort of genre especially triple a gaming studios getting in on this because i feel that it is needed we have not even scratched the surface of the possibilities of this sort of dynamic setup battle royale seems right up the alley of a battlefield style sort of game because they already do the whole big maps and a lot of action and stuff like that so that's going to be an easy crossover i may be most excited for call of duty black ops 4 and their battle royale game because the last call of duty that i was really into was black ops 2 and just because i think just in terms of player mechanics and player movement call of duty no matter how you feel about the repetitiveness of the releases from that standpoint they seem to be the best in the business or at the very least up there so studios with big funding i appreciate them getting in on this genre because i really feel that it is needed and i think once they get into it we're going to see it expand even more because we're going to see people start testing the boundaries testing the different ideas and the different things that we can do with this genre now i guess some people maybe are worrying about the fact that games that previously didn't have battle royale modes might focus too much on it which will somehow take knock on the gameplay and whatnot and i can sort of understand that but i don't think that's really a thing to fear i don't know you guys let me know what you think about the whole battle royale genre are we doing too much are you excited about it let me know in the comment section until next time y'all be easy